Speaker of the House reminded us it's a constitutional provision, section 12, subsection 2B, says the primary responsibility of our being here is security and welfare of the people. I mean, it couldn't have come at a better time. This bill couldn't have come at a better time, at a time that millions, or rather, sorry, uh, hundreds of people are being mowed down through the use of light weapons, these weapons that we're trying to curtail now. Mr. Speaker, I would cite an example. In my home state of Benue, when the present governor came on board, he tried, he, he, he attempted, or rather he did an amnesty program, bringing all your guns and you shall be allowed to see no more, you shall not be persecuted. And if you will be amazed at the amount, the number of weapons that came in because of that program. I don't know whether we should take it as a mistake now because Soon after we gave our weapons, the herdsmen who were known for carrying uh, sticks started brandishing AK-47 and started killing our people in droves. So this would be an all, all. So first, it is good that we have this legal framework in place. The legal framework is very, very important. But more than legal framework, it is the implementation that has always been the issue with this country. We have porous borders. The president himself has told us in, in the recent past, or rather told the world, because he said that when he was outside the country, but he told the world that those arms are coming in from Libya, because they are, our attackers are people who have been trained in, either Libyans or people who have been trained in Libya, meaning that we have a big problem on our hand, the porous borders. So we need the legal framework, for more than the legal framework, my dear colleagues, we need implementation, which always is a problem. We all know that, like somebody was saying the other day, the only borders we can talk about are the airports, when you, the planes come in. That, that is about the only borders that we police very well. Outside of that, the land borders, there's nothing to write home about, because anything, a, 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 whole, a whole train can be brought across the border without anything happening. So, I go along with the uh, mover, the sponsor of this bill, that it should be allowed for second reading, so that any inadequacies, like the one uh, spotted by the by, by the leader or any other ones, I'm making the case. Um, so, any inadequacies that may have been discovered during the public hearing will be cured, because uh, God knows that we need this bill. Thank you, my dear colleagues.